Come on. <laughs> That's seven in a row. It's amazing. You are like, this woman's a shark. You are good at this game. Not really. Just witnessed a tactical game of reading your opponent and adjusting accordingly. Wait, should, wait are you saying that you're reading me? Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Yes, I can read you. It's part of my training. Everyone gives subtle hints. Hints? Like what? Giveaways. You boarded the plane wearing a suit, but no wedding ring. Serious, but not committed. You let a stranger sleep on your shoulder. Kindness. It also feels good to be needed. The heart-shaped candy. Another giveaway. Either you have a problem with sugar, which, based on the amount of maple syrup you put on your pancakes this morning, I wouldn't think so. Or you have a problem with candy in the shape of a heart which means you might have a problem with romance and things pertaining to this day in particular. Hmm. Not bad, soldier. Sit! I'm Greg Gilkins at my old high school, Henderson High, and today's subject, young love. I'm joined by Felicia, whose boyfriend Willie is still at track practice, but he'll be joining us shortly. So, Felicia, if he's the star athlete, you are... Not the cheerleader. I'm on the dance team. Maybe you could show us a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't hurt yourself. Yes. Wow. I haven't seen moves like that since the 94 Northridge quake. You guys are... Oh. <clears throat> So how do you two feel about each other this Valentine's Day? Oh my gosh, I totally love him. And I'm crazy about her. So Willie, what is it about her that makes you so happy? Well, she's beautiful, she makes me laugh, <laughs> and she does my geometry. Bonus. <laughs> yep. And Felicia, what is it about Willie that, that's so cool? Oh, well, besides the fact that he's totally hot, uh, he's an amazing athlete. Go show him, babe. Go show him, go show him. He's so good. Woo! So uh, how did you guys meet? It's really funny, actually. Like, I was not into him at first. He used to shoot spit wads at me in Spanish class, which is, like, so junior high. But then one night, I was brushing out my hair when I got home, and I found this spit wad, but it was really a note, and it said, what's up? And I was like, that is so cute. And then I liked him. Oh, my God. Baby, are you OK? Walk it off, baby. Just walk it off. You're still hot, baby. You're still hot. Wow, he rolled out of that like a ninja. He's usually really good at those. Yeah, well, he's quite the athlete, and you're quite the dancer, huh? Five, six, oh. seven, eight. No, I, I think we're, I think we're okay. We, I don't. Oh, we haven't seen that one. <laughs> Way to go. Did she tell you the spit wad story? Yes, she did. Yeah, she's mushy like that. <laughs> you like it. I know. Ooh, I miss high school. There you have it, young love, full of promise, full of hope, ignorant of reality. From Henderson High on Valentine's Day, I'm Greg Gilkins, Channel 13. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Olivia's gonna need braces. Oh, that makes sense. I had them. You had them. I know. Mm. Eastro Gardens Restaurant. Good evening. Mm. <coughs> Hi. Harrison? <laughs> Are you okay? Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, okay. sir? Great. Well, my name is Julia, and I'm going to be your server tonight. Why don't I get started with a few specials? Yes, please. Tonight, the chef is featuring a dish that he likes to call the lying, stinking pig. You're, you're kidding. You're kidding. How is that good? He starts by cutting off the pig's testicles, and he chops them up really finely, teeny tiny pieces. And then he takes those testicles and he, he pulverizes them and adds in a little arugula, some sage, um, feta cheese, and shoves the mixture back up the pig's, well, for lack of a better word, ass. Really? Yeah. Then he cuts out the heart, the cold, useless, tiny little heart, then uh, fillets it on either side and it's a nice amuse-bouche. Uh, love the salmon. Good choice. For you, sir? I, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Oh, just so you know, the um, heart of the pig, a little something like this.
Did we get a toy? Maybe I'll give you a little time to juggle the choices. husband and shut your mouth. Edgar, answer me! Answer her, Edgar. Edgar, where are you? Still. Edgar, answer me! Still. That must be Edgar. I'm here. I'm coming. Oh, sorry. I see. Hey, run lower. Oh. Listen to me. I know I let you down, and maybe you don't think I deserve your forgiveness, but you're going to give it to me anyway, Edgar, because when you love someone, you love all of them. That's the job. I know that now. I'm so sorry. And now, please, you got to love everything about them, not just the good things, but the bad things, too, the things that you find lovable and the things that you don't find lovable. I understand. I'll never leave you. 